you guys. Okay. I'm just combing down my beard because I know it's been looking the way that it's been looking. Okay. Um, I try not to talk about my situation so much, but I guess since I'm on YouTube, I mean, what do you expect for me to, uh, I might as well, right? Guys, I literally, like, I literally don't have anywhere else to go. And I know it's not, you know, a coincidence. But I'm at a cafe, um, at um, a UNCG cafe in Greensboro, for those who are not familiar with Greensboro. Um, I, I didn't plan on buying anything. I just wanted to make a video. So, I had to buy something. So, I just got some grits from um, this restaurant. I'm not sure. Which, I forgot the name of this restaurant. Um, but I just got some grits and some um, some Tropicana drink. So it's cheese grits, and I put some salt and pepper on. These so good. It's light too, and it's healthy. So I'm not, I'm not really. Mm. But no, guys, I don't have anywhere to go. Literally, I tried to do it an intake at the shelter, and for two days straight, I was turned down because they said they didn't have any beds available. But this is what I'm talking about the unfairness, you guys. Let me get some grits on How is it that you're letting people who are literally on the streets every day doing drugs and not doing anything with their life, and you let them get a bed before someone who is actually able to be? established and like literally do you hear what I'm saying how do you let someone else come before someone who can utilize resources the right way that's why I said like it's like every time I go out to work and I try to save my money for something someone who I'm supposed to be looking up to and respecting they always end up breaking the rules and then I'm I end up being the person either to accept it and continue to go through the abuse or the one that turns around and it goes another route and there's other people look at me like not other people some people some people understand um, but certain people might say well um, you got to be still you got to be patient take time yeah I do my thing is, is that what are we going to do about the people who break the rules and and I'm talking about not just anyone who break the rules People who appoint rules for you to follow, but then they're breaking them. It just doesn't make any type of sense. I mean, I don't see why they would not. I mean, she told me to come back at 12 o'clock. Then I came back at 12, and then she said, I'm sorry, we don't have anything right now. She says, try to come back tomorrow. I said, are you serious? Do you not know what I had to go through overnight? Are you serious? Of course, I didn't say that to her. I said it in my head. I wouldn't dare say that out loud. But anyway, <laughs> um, um, so I came back the next day, and then um, I said, oh, I came back at like 7 o'clock. She told me to come at 7. So I came at 7 in the morning. It's pretty early. Um... So I came at 7, and she said, um, speak with me at 12 o'clock. And in my head, of course, night out loud, I, I was like, oh, my gosh. Come back to you. And you just told me, okay. So in my head, you can understand what's going on right now, okay? But I'm not going to sit there and display the attitude because that would be embarrassing to me. And I don't want to ever go out of character. Um, I just don't. That's just, like, not me. But um, I came back you know, at 12. Then she told me she's not seen anyone until 1.30. I said, oh my gosh, are you serious? So she told the other lady that was in front of me um, the same thing. So I'm kind of trying to figure out, okay, is she just pushing clients away or 
is she does she like really you know not sure like I'm not sure what's going on so then of course she told me to come back tomorrow <laughs> so I guess I'll be over there tomorrow um, I'll keep trying because I'm I just I just don't feel comfortable um, being outside inside of a tent because I mean I've been camping before but I don't want to use that as like a it's too cold it's crap outside at night time guys just don't understand I just can't do this I don't want to do it I told you my story long ago that I've been literally trying to use my resources the best way I could and you know I don't want to just stay with somebody that I don't know, that I don't trust, someone that is not doing something great with their life because it's not going to be in a good environment around me. People say, well, why don't you stay at home with your mom or anything like that? My thing is like this. If, if she had a good environment, I would be over there. Not many children would be honest enough to say the right thing about the living establishment at their parents' house before they even, because some people would just say, yeah, I'll go, or some people would say, no, I don't want to go because I hate my parents, it's not a third, I don't get along, blah, 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 blah. No, to me, it's different. I love my parents. They may not, well, she may not, or he may not be the, uh, well, my father has passed away, but she may not be, you know, the perfect mother, but at the end of the day, I have to look at the living establishment over there and if it's toxic and it's not a good you know environment then that would be kind of foolish for me to put myself in that predicament knowing that I've been in that predicament before so the best thing that I can do right now is try to find my resources on the outside and not only that try to find my resources within the people who are actually willing to help me you know and that is these shelters the shelters are designed to help people get back on their feet or help them transition and get established. Now, when you find that some shelters are literally housing people who are doing the same thing over and over and not doing anything with their life, then you're just letting the bad people get free services. And the people who are willing to utilize it the right way, you're just pushing them to the side. Like, that is ridiculous. It's almost like they know they can run over the people that is not going anywhere in their life. And the people that they know they can't run over, they're not even going to give them a chance. Of course, because they know they can't run over them. They know that people with the right mindset knows the system and knows how to um, generate their own ideas within their minds and get somewhere. Literally. So I'm kind of like just shocked right now that some people are actually willing to allow this to happen at certain facilities like it's just ridiculous and no I'm done staying with people with strangers because I've had a couple of people come over and say well you can come stay with me blah 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 and, and then you know I I can just read some people and know that their lifestyle is not where it should be before they try to invite someone to their home. Okay, I'm, I'm wise enough and intelligent enough to know that before they even speak and before I even say anything. Um, yes, looks can be deceiving, but once someone has shown you their characteristics, then that's all you need to know. You should be able to decode and read people's spirits and mindsets and characteristics before you have to take anything further in life with them from the moment you meet them you should know what type of environment they have around them from the job bottom line so no i don't know where i'm going to go okay i have to keep trying at this shelter to see if i can get in Because I don't, I just don't know. I just don't know, you guys.
I am literally, um, I have an interview to go to on Friday, another interview, and I'll attend that. That one is actually in Greensboro. So I know I will make it to work there and to the interview. But my thing is, like, I need a vehicle. But I'm not going to keep talking about the vehicle. I know you guys are tired of hearing about it because I'm tired of hearing about it. I'm tired of hearing about it. Seriously. Y'all, I was supposed to come here just to get a drink and not nothing to eat. Ooh, that was good. What was that? Chocolate candy. Mm -hmm. I just don't know where else to be, you guys. I don't have anywhere to go right now. Like, I am literally just like... I just don't know what else to do. I want a laptop so bad, but no, I'm not going to buy a laptop because I don't, I do not like, okay, if I get a laptop, I don't want it to be small. I want it to be decent, a decent size, and I'm not going to spend $300 on that when I can be, when I'm trying to save that, and I'm not going to spend, um, now $200 is not bad for a laptop. But they were really small. The one I seen in Walmart was extremely small. So I don't want that. I just don't. freaking um, um, living establishment right after I get the money because okay listen about this I don't live necessarily have to go into a shelter I can always rent out an Airbnb and, and be okay <clears throat> but I'm trying to save my money so I don't really want to spend anything and to be honest with you I don't even want to be inside of a tent either, but I have a tent, so I mean, like, I'm utilizing that because I don't have to pay anything there. Um, I didn't have, I remember when I didn't even have the money, and I told you for the tent when I was trying to figure out how I'm going to get me a job um, before I started working. Um, but before then, you know, I had my manager um, um, bless me with one and a sleeping bag and I was able to pull through the nights and make it to work and still take my showers in the morning and still be able to make it to work on time. Boom. Um, so I still have it so I don't want to just like get rid of it you know but it's something serious because you guys I cannot continue to sleep outside in the cold you know because it is not a good feeling at all. Uh, yes, I do want to live with someone right now, but I want that person. I'm not even a picky person. I'm not a person that nag. I'm a quiet person. I stay to myself. I get on YouTube. I don't even be on YouTube at someone else's house. You know, we might just be sitting there talking about stuff, like what's on TV or whatnot. And that's it. You know, and then I, I'll be ready to go to sleep. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do because there is literally no one else out here that I can turn to for help. I mean, I'm not going to say that. that. There is some people out here that I can turn to for help. But you just have to find it. Like, I just have to find it. This grease is so good, especially with the salt in it. Mmm. Like a baby. <laughs> I'm at the, um, what is the name of this restaurant? I forgot the name of the restaurant. But these are some really nice books. You can see the outdoor. That is UNCG Police Station. And... Look at this back. It looks really nice. 
<laughs> kind of like a robot looky type thing. This is all black. It looks really nice. It's lighting. That's really cool. I like the way it looks. I like how it's just like inside. Like a, like a little boat. It's a boat, basically. I like how it looks. Um, so I'm trying to figure out, you know, where I'm going to go. Um, I don't want to, I, it's like I do want to go say, hey mom, can I come to your house for a minute? Blah, blah, blah. But it's so depressing over there. Like, it, it really is. It's so depressing and it's sad and I don't even want to talk about it, you guys. I don't, I don't want to talk about it. I can't stay with my brother because he has a whole family and um, they they don't even have enough room, I don't think. And that's just too much. I started waiting hot point and I work in Greensboro and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna just catch the bus out of the city to come back in this, another city every single day like that when I can just stay within the city and I already have a bike. I mean, we have a um, a bus out here called the Park Bus and it takes you through different cities and connect you throughout the triad because um, I live in a triad area where there's three major cities, Greensboro, Winston-Salem, and High Point, and it connects you within the, each bus has a, because you know each city has their own city buses, Winston-Salem is WSTA, Greensboro, GTA, High Point, High Trans, where now it's called a High Point Transit, but the high, but the um, park bus takes you throughout each one, so you got it, what I'm trying to say. Um, but I still don't want to do that because I'm already in Greensboro, so why not just utilize what's in Greensboro? Oh, you know, I got everything right now. Um, <clears throat> and um, I don't want to go all the way to no freaking high point. You know, my other brother lives in Archdale, and he can't even let anyone stay with him because of his lease agreement that he has with his landlord but i was telling him you know okay i'm the youngest out of my brothers i got my place first before anybody okay so i can tell you <clears throat> about the landlord situation i got in trouble with my landlord before years ago for allowing a friend of mine to stay, a best friend of mine to stay with me, but she moved her furniture in my house. So that was a different story. Now, if she would have just like stayed the night, a few nights, and didn't bring any furniture with her, they wouldn't even have known that she was there, you know. And plus, she called and told them like a dumbass. Yeah, and messed me up like that. But um, <clears throat> so my brother knew what I had, what I was going through before. So now he figures that if I, if he let someone come stay with him, that you know he's gonna get in trouble by the landlord. Knowing that I don't have any furniture, I don't have anything to bring with me but a book bag with my YouTube stuff in it and my toiletry items, like toothbrush, toothpaste, stuff like that. And that's it. Wow. Okay. So he was like. I can't let anyone stay with me, blah, blah, blah. And isn't that the third? And I'm like, dude, you freaking idiot. Your brother is literally out here, nowhere to go, and he knows how to use his resources. He works, he does not play around, he don't hang around, he don't go to parties. You know what I'm saying? He's spiritually set, he knows his Bible. What do you not see? in the difference that you will be making if you let your brother stay with you for a couple nights until he gets situated. And of course, he's not all there either because if he was, then he would know where I'm coming from. So I'm not really sure, you know, so I'm not going over there either. Plus, he's an art dealer. I wouldn't even dare. I'm just saying, like, at least... And yes, I did leave that shelter because I didn't feel safe enough in there. But um, that's not the other reason, only reason why I left. I told you the first time I left that shelter, and if you looked at my videos, you will understand which what I was talking about and why. Um, mm. mm. it dripped on me. 
Okay, so, um, yeah, I guys, I don't know where I'm gonna go. I don't like that tent. I, I mean, I do, I'm so thankful, God. Thank you so much for that tent. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Thank you, God. <laughs> Thank you so much for it because I literally, it is not a good feeling, I'm gonna tell you, to not have a tent or a sleeping bag and just be out there in the cold. Like, I've done that before. So I'm just going to go ahead and thank God for that and give him the glory for it because that I am so thankful for. Literally. But I had a couple of um, older guys come up to me and it was like, well, you can come stay with me, this, that, and a third. But see, I read their vibe from the jump. They didn't think I could read it. I read their vibe. I knew what they was trying to do, what plans they had. They think I didn't know. So I, I, had, to, I had to decline, but I did it in a generous way. Um, I did because I felt like, you know, they were trying to do something else pedophile-ish. You see what I'm saying? You're not trying to help me get off, you know, get a place to stay and stuff like that and until I get myself together, you trying to do something else. You see what I'm saying? Because I already know what, how you're thinking. So I'm not even really trying to do that, to be honest with you. These grits are so freaking good, yo. Okay, so. <laughs> so, yeah, I just, you guys, like, and it's really cold out there. Out there. I don't even know how, I don't even know the temperature is going to be, like, outside. I just don't. But thank you all so much for donating to my Go Me. GoFundMe uh, fundraiser. <laughs> I said go me. Thank you so much for donating to my GoFundMe fundraiser um, because that literally surprised me that you guys were actually donating to me for that. Like literally. Um, I've never in my life thought that this would actually happen. So, I mean, and I never in my life thought that this would happen also that you guys would actually be donating. Um, that really shocked me but every donation that I get it lets me know who's done it you know some people want to be anonymous and I do understand that um, some people aren't and I'm able to know but either way I'm able to know when you guys donate and I thank you so much it has really helped me a whole lot um, and, and those notes that you guys have been giving me they're really heartwarming and I've made sure that I've messaged you all back with a heartwarming um, uh, reply also because I didn't even get that from my own family so this is why I was saying about the disciples in the Bible uh, when Jesus was walking um, to save the people in the town he was approached by a, a group of people and they asked him who was his family and Jesus replied back and said, who is my family? You see, he was letting them know what, who, what family? You know, his family was his disciples. And then people like to say, well, what are disciples mean? What are disciples? And disciples are the people that he met along the way that was also sharing the word of God also to help save other people, letting them know who Jesus was. You see what I'm saying? Those are the people, and they weren't even related to him. They were just, you know, friends. And so he considered them family. So this is why they say, no, your birth family may not be there for you, but your family out there, miles and miles away, will be the ones that's going to show you what family and love is all about more than the family that you have from birth that you came out with and now that is just for some situations for some people who extremely now as for all situations but really um you will be able to experience that once you have been dis 
own that we have to say by your family and you then find the love that you should have got at home from other people you, and that's literally your disciples it's the same thing so back to what I was saying um, it's really not you know um, hard to use your resources out here the thing is that other people who are given the opportunity to handle situations like this like at certain shelters or you know they need to be up to par about what they're they are doing and i do understand things happen um there's not enough beds available or they have to go by the guidelines and things like that but my thing is like this once you see someone with a good hand on their shoulders someone who is intelligent someone who is smart someone that should not be out there someone who knows their bible someone who knows how to be responsible you need to do a first come first serve anyone else that you can literally see out there on the streets doing hardcore drugs or anything that is going to keep them where they are then that's when you turn their heads like literally because you are literally wasting your time on people that could be helping you build what you are working with and for rather than having someone tear it down and tear it down like seriously I've been on here for 26 minutes y'all and I think that's about it. So I'm going to finish these grades. I'm going to head back over to somewhere else and um, get warm. I think I'm going to go to the library again. But I'm tired of going to the library because, oh my gosh, that's why I said I'm so sick and tired of going to the library, y'all. It's so cold. But I'm geared up on my bicycle, so who cares? <laughs> Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys later in my next video. Don't know what I'm talking about, but I'll let you know what I'm going through. <laughs> Bye.